Alright, today uh, with this uh, revisiting video, I'm going to show you guys DX08, the Joker. This is the Jack Nicholson Joker from the 89 movie. And there's the box. And on the back of the box, it shows that this figure came out also in 2012. So, uh, what, 12 years ago? And uh, so, let's see here. Back to the front. Oops, sorry, kind of dark. All right, so let's check out what's inside here. Uh, first thing, so when you open this up, you will be greeted with uh, this piece of uh, film here. And then uh, you'll get this panel with the uh, Joker on it. Let's see here, right here, you can see, I'm gonna take this off. It's kind of similar to the, um, whoops, it's really hard to see now. Uh, similar to the Batman where it has the bat symbol, but here we have the Joker symbol. And then underneath it, you'll see the figure. And then when you remove this covering, you'll see some of the accessories as well. You see the top hat, I mean his hat right here, it's kind of hard to see. And then a bunch of hands, then uh, pegs. And once you pull this tray out, I think things gonna fall off. So most likely I'm gonna, yeah. And then you have uh, trays of stuff. And uh, let's take a closer look at them. All right, so first things first, uh, let's, uh, the rest of the accessories you get the trench coat just right here really nice trench coat did i even have him wear this at all i don't think i have ever had him wear this at all and then we get the the logo a batman logo base with the name tag joker and this does have light up feature and these two spotlights are supposed to light up. Put batteries in here. Yep. And let's see. We have his flower, of course. With the magnets on the back. Oh no, it's actually a clamp. Oh, I thought it was supposed to be magnets. Nowadays they use magnets. Oh, yeah. And then uh, we have. Oh god, I think I need to pour out some of these accessories. Impossible to get it out of the tray. So let's see what we have here. So we have a uh, stacks of money. Uh, there are two stacks here. Oh, there's another stack. It's uh, similar to this stack. It's quite a lot actually. They're all hundred dollar bills, which is nice. And then we have Joker card. Uh, how many are in here? Just one looks like. So we have a Joker card, and then we have the. Oh, oh my goodness, that has a spring in it. The uh, laughing teeth uh, has a spring in it, which is cool. And then we have the megaphone right there. And then we have his gas mask right there. And then we have his communicator. I believe this is, no, this, uh, oh yeah, this is the communicator when he was uh, contacting the uh, his goons at the end there and then this is the one where he used to um, uh, to let out the gas from the balloons and then here's his uh, Joker uh, revolver uh, this is towards the end of the film and then this is the one where he used to shot down the bat wing, which still seems impossible, in my opinion. And then here's a cane. And yeah, so that's everything. That's all the accessories. Okay, and let's take a look at the hands that he comes with. Two right here. Two right here. And then two right here. So it comes with six hands. And then uh, the... Hat. It's a little spot right there. Not sure what's going on there. But there's his hat. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. 
Um, hmm. Yeah, you can very. It's very noticeable right there. But yeah, that's the hat. And let us take a look at the Joker himself. There's the Jack Nicholson Joker. And um, so far, I feel like the ankles are super weak. But uh, everything else seems okay. It's just the ankles are like really weak. Yeah, I'm not sure why. Yeah, I think over time these things, they do tend to get loose or something. I'm not sure. Uh huh. So yeah, ankles are pretty weak. But he can still stand. If you don't touch him, he can still stand on display. Once you get him in a specific pose, once you balance him out, I guess, then he should still be able to stand properly. All right, so let us take a look at the head sculpt of Joker. Uh, looks quite good. Definitely looks like Jack Nicholson, in my opinion. And then you can see here, the back of the head opens up to expose the joystick. And now you can move those eyes left, up, and down. Yeah. Not a huge range, but still you could get him to look sideways, up, up and down, stuff like that. So that's cool. I like it. Yep. So I'm going to close this back up held on with magnets of course and uh, let's uh, show off his articulation a little bit and so after all these years how does he hold up let's see arms they feel fine forward still good yeah elbows nice I like that same on this side, still feels really good. And then as far as the torso is concerned, not much you can do because he has a fat suit underneath. As far as the legs, yeah, you're not gonna get him, well, you can still get him to do a little bit of a kick. And then ankles are somewhat weak, but uh, I mean knees somewhat weak. Ankle also kind of weak. So that's about that as far as uh, articulation. And um, yeah, so far it still holds up really well, I think. Uh, the color is still there and then don't have any bleeding of uh, colors onto his neck at all. So that's nice. And yeah, what else? What else can I say? The. Uh, I have uh, been, I have uh, kept this uh, in the box throughout all these years. I think I've displayed it uh, initially for a while and then these all went in, went back into the box. So colors didn't change at all. Everything's still as, uh, as, uh, as they were back in 2012, I think. So for the most part, I think, uh, yeah, colors all good nice because uh, I don't have it under the sun anyway so yeah I'm not gonna get discoloration on anything like that joints are still good except for the ankles I think the knees as well but uh, overall I think still uh, if you're uh, if you're interested in buying this guy uh, I think you you should be okay to get this version unless they unless they end up uh, doing a 2.0 of uh, Jack Nicholson which, who knows? I mean, if they're doing a 2.0 Michael Keaton, so chances of them doing a 2.0 Joker, it's uh, pretty um, pretty high, I would imagine. Yeah, it seems like uh, the only way to keep this flower on is uh, through this pocket right here, which is so far off the center that it doesn't look right now. It's almost like to his armpit somehow. So I think the flower should have been done with magnets and it should have been done right here. But instead uh, they went with uh, a little hook 
So the only way, the only way to hook this on, uh, you can't hook it onto here either. Let me see. If I push the clamp down a little bit, maybe. I'm gonna push the clamp down, so maybe we can hook it onto here, maybe like that. That seems all right. So yeah, I'll just leave it like that then. Because uh, yeah, there's no uh, hole on the jacket. They didn't put a slit or anything like that for you to put the flower on. And no magnets either back then. They didn't use magnets for the flower, which I would imagine they would use magnets now if they do a 2.0. And uh, let's take a look at them with the hat on. It's right there. Really good. And let me bring in Batman because he's been standing off to the side waiting for his chance to pose next to the Joker. So there they are. Both of them. 89. And uh, they're both from 2012. They both held up uh, pretty good. Uh, the Batman, the joints are um, not as tight. I think back then they were just using a weaker body to begin with, uh, with without using uh, ratcheting joints. So that's why. But uh, Joker looks fantastic with Batman right here. Alright, so now I will show you a closer look at the figure and uh, the outfit to make sure nothing has deteriorated. Uh, there shouldn't be any because uh, the outfit's all made out of fabric. Oh, I didn't, I didn't even realize there were uh, decorations on the buttons there. The pants, like everything's fabric, so yeah, chances of, uh, of them breaking down, I, I don't see that happening ever. Unless you put it out in the sun for a long time, then maybe the colors will fade. But overall, I think uh, the figure still looks just as good. Now the camera might show the color being blue, but it's not. It's supposed to be purple. It's just uh, the camera is not picking up the purple properly. It picks up the the does the turquoise and the green and uh, then the green and the and the orange pretty well, but it's just this particular purple color is not picking it up that well. It looks way blue. Than it's supposed to be. So yeah, and at the end of this video, I'll put some photos so you can get a better idea of what it actually looks like. And yeah. So there you have it. Not a whole lot more to say about uh, Joker. And here he is again with Batman. And uh, I think uh, this figure held up uh, really well for a figure that's uh, over 12 years now. And uh, yeah, if they do a 2.0, I'm sure this one will go down in value quite a bit. Even right now, it's not that expensive. I don't think the Joker is that expensive. I think it's only like 350, 375, somewhere around there. Not that expensive. So when they, if they do a 2.0, yeah, and some people might be able to get it for a lot cheaper. So yeah. So hopefully they'll do one. If not, then this will be the only 89 Joker. Well, there are two 89 Joker. One is the mine, and then there's a third party one. But so from Hot Toys, this is the original one that came out. So there you go. Thanks for watching.